This is Lorraine's Discovery Channel and if you're new here, please subscribe, like and share. Today, I'm here taking a train to Suswa. I know you all wondering why and the reason is because it's so scenic, the three tunnels and of course, I'm here for the beautiful experience. <laughs> Join me in this trip. I hope you're going to enjoy. So, we booked the morning passenger SDR train which leaves at exactly 8.50 a.m. from Nairobi Terminus in Sukimau all the way to Suswa and passes through the Ongata Rongai, Ngong, Mahimahu, then Suswa. So, we started our trip from Ongata Rongai station because this was the nearest station from where we reside. We booked a taxi that had come pick us up at our apartment and drop us at the Ongate Rongai station. We were six of us and we were charged like 600 Kenyan shillings. That's like six dollars. That's to me like each person was charged like a dollar each. Yes. Time was catching up with us so we had to rush so as not to be left behind by the train which had already arrived at 9.14 a.m. Oh my god. I kid you not. This was like around 9, 9.42 a.m. So finally, we are here at the station. Oh my God, we finally made it right on time. Yeah, we print the tickets, which cost about 100 shillings per head. Then we go through the frisking process and the checking of our luggage before we can cross over to the other side which the train is at yeah the other side which the train is at thank god our tickets were already printed out by our friends who got at the station earlier so basically they made the whole process easier for us we got through the second checking at the entrance of the coach number we were allocated when booking the train to confirm whether the information in the id matches the information in the ticket issued by the Railway Authority of Kenya.
We were so excited having the fact that this was our first time traveling to Suswa. If you're into adventure, just look at how amazing the views are. Oh my god, I love, I don't like, I love the views, I'm enjoying. Literally, no one in our team, absolutely no one in our group slept because tell me why someone will sleep while others are chasing views and the train sound. Does that make sense, right? Like the photogenic that I am, I had to ask a friend to take good pictures and videos of me chasing views, of course, for memories, yeah. I managed to capture the Ngong Hill Tunnel and the view was breathtaking. Let me tell you, Maina, you wouldn't put your eyes off the view, yeah. So, I'll let you all enjoy the moment with us. Enjoy! What an adventurous trip it was. Hooray! Yeah, so guys, we are finally at the Suswa station. After enjoying the views of the mountains, tunnel, the hills, the railway line, and for those that came from the Nairobi terminus, we were so lucky to enjoy the view of the Nairobi National Park. Yeah, so the whole trip takes roughly an hour and 17 minutes if you're coming from the Nairobi terminus. But for our case, it only took us like 55 minutes to get to Suswa Station since we boarded the train from the Ongata Rongai Station. So join us in enjoying the views of the beautiful Suswa. So tell me, who travels in a beautiful place without taking pictures? Like who does that? We took some pictures for memories with the crew before finally proceeding to Zambezi Cabin Resort 
which was our final destination. After enjoying the views of mountains, valleys, and hills at Soso Station, the question here is so what next? Others will choose to travel back using the evening train, but for us, we chose to spend at Zambezi Cabin Resort. So, Zambezi Cabin Resort is roughly 30 minutes away from the Soso Station. We were 10 of us and only Money to get two taxis each carrying four passengers at maximum. Eight of us managed to get space and they charged us like 2,500 Kenyan shillings per taxi. Two of us were left out and we opted to use the border border way. So finally, we are here at the Zambezi Cabin Resort and let me tell you Maina. The ambience is so pleasant, peaceful, and very cozy. You can clearly get a view of Mount Suswa from all angles and long or not at a distance. We went straight to check in at the receptionist for the rooms we had booked, took a shower, changed, and went to have fun by the pool. Took some pictures, social, played games in water, and had a quick lunch. The food here is very cheap and very pocket friendly, whereby a kg of mutton costs a thousand Kenyan shillings and that of pork kg goes for 900 Kenyan shillings only. A piece of ugali costs like a hundred Kenyan shillings, yeah. And that of rice, if you have kids, you can consider visiting the place because they have you sorted for sure. They have bouncing castle, baby pool, swings, and so many other things that I failed to mention.
on our way back we opted to use the public transport system since the train was fully booked i hope you all enjoyed to travel with me or let's meet in the next video bye i love you all remember to like and share the video Mwah.